Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're actually going to do a review comparison and what is your best buy for your money. Okay, so I have three luxury handbags that are very similar to each other as far as the upgraded versions of tote bags from the Neverfull. So we've got the Dior on the book tote. This is the size small. We've got the Chanel DeVille in the large. And we got the On The Go in reverse monogram in the GM. So as you can see, these three bags the Chanel on the go and I mean the Chanel DeVille and on the go tote are similar in size versus the on the go is a little bit smaller. I mean the book tote is a little bit smaller, not by much. As far as these three bags are concerned, the price point for the Christian Dior book tote in the size small in this particular uh, type in calfskin leather is $2,800 here in New York City. The Chanel DeVille in the large is $3,000. And the on the go in reverse monogram GM is going for $2,570. The reason why I'm using these three bags as my choice these are all very 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 popular brands and they're very 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 popular bags and if I had to say what was your best cost of wear I would probably have to say it on the go and I'll tell you the word is more on the go is about $300 cheaper than the Chanel de Ville, and it's about $130 cheaper than the Chanel, uh, I mean the Dior book too. And the reason why I feel this one's a better cost of, for wear is because it's made in canvas and it's much more durable. It has the handles for traveling, but it also has the sophistication of being able to hold it on the top handle. Top handle bags are very, very in right now. Um, and I, you have to give Christian Dior the credit where it's due. They did create this. Hermes and Christian Dior, all, a lot of their bags are meant to be handheld carried. I guess that's more of a British French thing versus Louis Vuitton always had more practicality as versus shoulder bags, more versatility. And then the Chanel DeVille, is lightweight it is the lightest you know aside from the the book tote it is the lightest for a bag that has um chains i feel because it is made in this woven um material as far as what i use my bags for more i would use the chanel deville and the reason why I would use a Chanel DeVille on a daily basis for like work to put my work stuff in it is because it's lighter, it's darker. It, my organizers, which I don't have in right now, but normally I pack it with an organizer. Everything is much more put together. And again, it's still light at the end after I put everything in it. Versus this bag, super structured, super heavy already with nothing in this bag. And then to top it all off, even though these handles are fantastic and great because it's already kind of a very structured bag, anytime I do anything with this bag, it kind of gets in my way. I actually want to sell this bag to get the medium um, because of the mere fact that I think it is too large for my lifestyle. Um, but it is an amazing bag. And if I have to say for versatility and practicality, this would be great for people that don't mind the weight of this bag, but I am, a, I commute daily Monday through Friday to the city for work. Um, this bag with a lot of stuff in it starts to get a little much and the structure of the bag 
the it starts to um starts to get in my way can't get into tight corners in the subway with this bag now this bag i can't say not enough good things about this bag the only problem, like I said, about this bag is it is just a top handle bag. You have to be fairly thin, like small armed, to get this around your um your arm. Um, so you really kind of only do it across your across your elbow, or you can hold it in the, your arm in your hand. I mean, but this bag could carry a lot of stuff. And probably it's best when you carry a bag of this size so you're not you're not packing it because you know you have to hold it so I feel like this bag and mind you I already want to purchase another one I'm thinking of getting the oblique one as well because of this bag because I get to carry what I want to carry in this bag not have it over packed but then still manage to still look classy and sophisticated if I want to go to a work meeting and I just want to carry my laptop or maybe my iPad and you know my wallet my cell phone my charger and then go and it would still be fairly light because this already weighs pretty much nothing it's it's a pretty decent size and it's a pretty like it's a pretty still very sizable bag like if you look inside this bag it's pre I have the authenticity card still in this bag, but it's a pretty sizable bag. I do have um, an organizer for this bag as well, which I will be, um, I could do a what's in your bag review and I can show you the organizers and what I pack in this bag. So again, this bag would be more of a, this bag would be a more good choice if you want to just carry very minimal things and you know that you can carry it on the, your crook of your arm or in your hands, be lightweight, still be very fashionable and classy and get get going when not carrying an ever foam. Versus this one, this one is $200 more than this bag, but this does have the versatility of acting the extra straps definitely a very good travel bag I mean I've used this already to travel for work for work trips um I obviously use this bag for city errands and if I need to carry more stuff to work and I mean come on Louis Vuitton is always gonna be my first love but this bag this time around I have to say this size just did not work out for me this bag again is for practicality for for wear and tear, this bag is definitely going to check all the boxes. Louis Vuitton has impeccable canvas. I am a huge Louis Vuitton lover. I've been collecting Louis Vuitton for the last 20 years. I'm in my mid-30s, so you can know it was a very young age I started with Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is by far my first designer that I felt that their bags are just made well. And if they are not, and there's a problem with, let's say, the glazing of these bags, Louis Vuitton will take it back. They will stand behind their product no matter what. So don't ever feel like, I don't want to buy this bag because of the glazing. I've heard that there's glazing issues on the on-the-go totes. There's issues with every bag you buy out there. Do not be opposed to buying something like this because you're afraid of the glazing. I have never, ever, 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 ever went into Louis Vuitton with a with a concern that they never tried to fix or replace if it was a small issue. Never. If it was the Pachette Matisse, if it was a wallet that I had, that the it was starting to peel, anything I ever brought to Louis Vuitton, they've always fixed it. This bag would be perfect for a fam for someone who enjoys larger bags who doesn't mind the structure, and that still gets to be versatile, which is a major, major, major plus. And then the cost factor of this bag, $2,570 for the large, I think it's $2,400 for the, the, the medium, for a all canvas, durable bag, $2,400, can wear in the rain, unlike this one where Chanel DeVille, you're not wearing this in the rain. Nope, no you're not. This, I can wear in the rain. 
this leather bag, mm, I would not wear in the rain. It's a smooth, light calfskin, and even in the oblique, I can't wear in the rain. But she, I can wear in the rain. I can wear her in the snow. I can wear her in any type of weather because she is durable. And if you want durability and you are living in an area where you need the durability, she is your gal. But if you have extra money to splurge, feel free to buy her. If you don't mind carrying her in your arms. But of course, for me, if I had to pick between the on the go, on the go or the reverse monogram, I mean the Chanel DeVille. Sorry, it's going to be this bag. She's lightweight. She's got the double handles. She's got everything that it is that I need. And if it doesn't rain or pour or snow, she comes out. I'm sorry, Louie. I will replace her in a medium though. So if you're interested, she's available. Either way. So, um, as far as videos concerning of what's in your bag, I will definitely decide to post one of those. I do buy all of my organizers from either Samorga or Zanomi. Zanomi, there. This is not. Um, this is not sponsored. I actually purchased these things from other YouTubers that mentioned these organizers, and I absolutely adore them. And I put them in all of my bags to keep my obviously my bags nice and clean and of course organized because I am a hot mess in general so don't be fooled um but that's all I can pretty much say so if you've got three thousand dollars to spend and you want lightweight and versatile buy her if you don't mind the weight and the structure and still want it to be versatile Definitely buy the on the go. But if you love lightweight, don't keep things in your crook of your arm. The Dior, small, uh, the book tote, small or even in the large, she's a beauty. Definitely worth every penny. I hope um, I was helpful and if you're interested and you like these types of videos feel free to subscribe i try to do videos of comparisons reviews luxury um brands unboxings various different types of um come upcoming videos to come um thanks again for checking me out and i hope to see you guys soon bye